Iranian armed forces continue their massive military drills in southern Iran for the fifth consecutive day. On Monday, the Navy successfully launched its Nur and Nasr cruise missiles. The land-to-sea missiles have been designed and built by Iranian experts. The Air Force also unveiled its SH-3D combat helicopters on this fifth day of maneuvers. The aircraft successfully targeted mock enemy submarines by torpedoes. The Navy also tested an aeronautical anti-aircraft radar system, which sends signals to fighter jets during combat operations. The jets use the signals to intercept hypothetical targets at sea, on land and in the air. Iran's military drills cover an area from the east of the Strait of Hormos to the southern parts of the Gulf of Aden. To get the latest on those drills, we're now joined by Amir Mehdi Kazmi, Press TV's correspondent, who's joining us live now from Josk. Amir, what more can you tell us about uh, how the drills have been going? Uh, the patrol and the military drill, which is the biggest of its kind, the greatest experience in terms of military exercise for the Iranian army, uh, including its air, ground, and Navy forces is uh, currently underway on its fifth day and it's very important for the Islamic Republic to maintain its borders at sea which as you know Iran has the longest uh, uh, sea border continuing hundreds stretching hundreds of kilometers from the coast of the Persian Gulf to the Sea of Oman stretching all the way to the north of the Indian Ocean so this is a practice of uh, defense for the Iranian army. It is a remarkable opportunity also for Iran's army and uh, the uh, defense industries of Iran to uh, test and to apply indigenous uh, weapons which according to the Iranian army have been uh, designed and uh, completely manufactured from A to Z inside the country. As you already mentioned, the maneuvers continued today with, uh, with a different significant um, operations that took place. One of them were indeed, as you earlier mentioned, the Nur and Nas cruise missiles that were capable completely indigenously made according to the Iranian army. It is, uh, um, it is a mid, uh, they are a mid-range mid and medium-range missiles that could hit uh, targets with great accuracy from land to sea. And uh, this, in fact, uh, enabled the Iranian army to uh, strengthen as well as to uh, put forward its uh, strategic depth in order to defend um, its uh, borders. Now, these two missiles were able to hit their targets accurately. The other one uh, was uh, the launching of the SH-3D helicopters for the first time. The Iranian Navy helicopters were able to experience uh, the interception and also targeting the hypothetical enemy, which in this case were submarines by dropping uh, torpedoes off helicopters and hitting them with great accuracy. The other one also included the integrated aeronautical um, radar defense units which also assisted the Iranian jet fighters from the Air Force in intercepting and also targeting floating targets at sea. The other one also continued, the drills also continued by the Iranian Navy in the Gulf of Aden which uh, actually uh, practiced the uh, pra practice the defense and offense against uh, uh, the uh, uh, tactical uh, strongholds of hypothetical uh, hypothetical uh, pirates uh, pirate units and uh, it is currently uh, continuing at the moment where I'm standing right now is the port city of Josk situated at the coast of the Oman Sea where uh, serves as one of the headquarters uh, and the command centers of uh, this military drill dubbed as Muhammad Rasulullah or Muhammad the Prophet of God. Back to you, Agar. Okay, Amir, thanks very much for that.